And hey guys, it's me, Tuck. Welcome back to some more Bomberman Land Wii. In the last episode, we finished page one of the mini games in single player, and this time we are going to be doing page two. Um, maybe, you know, if it's short, uh, we might do more, which these look okay, I guess. But we're gonna start with Octobomber. Octobomber was in Delta Zone. I think. No, this was in Delta Zone, definitely. This is in Delta Zone. Um, bomb the octopuses. I still don't get this. I should have probably said octopi or something. Isn't octopus plural octopi? Anyways, hit them with your cannon. Put the Wii Remote upright. Move your Wii Remote up, down, left, or right to line up your shot. And you fire the cannon by pressing the A button. Bomb the octopuses to score. If an octopus hits you with its ink, you'll be temporarily immobilized. Bomb as many octopuses as you can within the time limit. I'll have to look that up. Didn't I say I was going to look it up in the past and then I didn't? Oh well. Oh, and this is time, so we're going to have to sit through the entire thing. I'm actually going to probably start like playing it for a little bit to show you and then probably just end up killing myself just to conserve time so that way I'll be able to upload these more frequently and not have to wait forever for them to like render out or go through the upload. This one, however, is a different story because it has a time limit, so I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, play it all the way through both times. Um, as for math logic, I'll probably act like I usually am in math for... Oh, well, never mind, we've got the high score. So that's that, and then there is um, the difficult mode, which is the main reason why I'm doing these. Jeez, I'm burning up right now, man. Sorry to be, like, off-topic, but God, it is hot in here. The weather's gotten nicer, though, you know, no longer that much, you know, like, the, we the weather's not that cold hardly anymore, so yeah, um, there's different rules, so, in this training mission, the game will be over if you miss a shot, so if we miss a shot, um, basically it's over, but this is the same exact minigame, so I'm actually gonna miss the shot, the high score's right there, uh, nothing really different at all. But yeah. And if you all get mad about me, like, not going through the entire minigame all the way, um, it's either that or we wait forever for, like, another upload to come up. So, I didn't finish. Oh, yeah, I did. I'd rather get these out to you all than have to, you know, wait a really long time between each one. Plus, I got stuff coming up that I need to do, like new Let's Plays. This is probably getting old for you all. And you're probably getting tired of it, and you're just like, oh my god, hurry up, get this over with. I'm still going to enjoy my time with it, though, while I still have a few videos left. But anyways, this is math class. Solve arithmetic, arithmetic problems written on the chalkboard. Play with the Wii Remote upright. An arithmetic problem will appear on the chalkboard. Correct, choose the correct symbol to insert. And I'm doing a lot of t-ing with my t's. Anyways, point at either plus or minus and press the A button to select that symbol. If you make a mistake, you'll lose a heart, which we have three chances. If we lose all of them, the game's over, and get the high score. So basically, you're going to see me probably fail once again at math. Um, when I do fast math like this, trust me, I'm not a wizard. I can barely do it in slow time. I'm usually a very slow worker when it comes to like math problems, mainly because I like to make my work presentable. I'm one of those neat writers. I guess you could say... I don't really know, honestly. Yep, see right there, I was like talking, got distracted. That's gonna be my excuse. When in reality, I probably really do suck at math. But it's one of my favorite subjects, it's weird, you know? I said this long ago, like in the video where I actually had to do this. My favorite subject, probably hands down, um, actually English is a close second, but math, math is probably my favorite. Just because, I don't really know. Plus, you gotta know it. It's one of those things you have to know for your future. So, I want to know this. I want to know math. I was about to say, I, I want to know this math jazz that's going on right now. That would have been stupid. Let's skip this, because it's the same exact intro. Um, pretty much, you pick two different symbols this time to get the um, answer out at the end. So, basically, you just pick two different symbols. And it's that, you know, easy. I almost got confused there, but uh, our score is to get, our goal is to get to 100, which is not that bad. Um, 
I almost picked net minus. That would have been bad. Oops. <clears throat> As you can tell, I'm a math wizard. <laughs> I'm failing so hard. Here's the timer right here, too. It's, you know, kind of stressing me out a little. Probably shouldn't be talking about it while I'm trying to hurry. I just need two more. Two more. Um... One more, done, hooray! I actually have math brains. We all know that's a lie. Let's just move on. To the next one! So how are you all doing today, I guess? I could start this conversation. I always ask this question in every single video. Are you... Well, this is probably gonna be... really annoying me for me to ask it if you watch the videos, like, consecutively and single day, but, yeah. I'll continue on with the conversation after I explain Balancing Act. In this game, you try to keep a bomb balanced on the top of a pole. Move the Wii Remote left or right to move the player and keep the bomb balanced. If the bomb falls or if you fall off the stage, the game's over. Straightforward. I hate these gnomes, by the way. They always... They just talk, They just stand there and just toss balls at you. Like, they have nothing else to do. We're trying to get, like, people to like us because we can balance a bomb on a pole. But yeah, that's pretty easy, just stand there until the end of the minigame, and like, they don't even throw a ball at you, so it's pretty easy for the first one. Anyways, wait, well, yeah, I might as well not go with my conversation, because there might be a new one in advanced mode. There might be some new rules. I think the bomb's bigger. Nope. There's coins involved. And they don't explain the coins either, so you're probably like, huh, what's this? When in reality, you're probably not, but still. Gotta get the coins. Oh, you have to collect ten coins to win the minigame. Um, eh, I'll collect like three, I guess. Just to let you know how straining this is. And sometimes the coins don't even appear like that. You're like, where is it? Even though it's probably bound to be on the right side. Uh, I didn't even collect three, so yeah. At least the bomb didn't explode in our face. Gotta think positive. So anyways, um, today's Sunday, and I am very upset right now. And my reason why is going to be explained after we explain Bomber Samurai. <sighs> Dang it. I always pick the worst opportunities to speak. <laughs> Slash everything that comes is flying at you. Poke the Wii Remote sideways. Make a low slash with the 1 button, a high slash with the 2 button. Make sure you don't slash a bomb, though. If you do, you lose a heart, which we have 3 once again. And to dodge bombs, you just press down on the control pad. So anyways, I'm upset. Mainly because we have to go forward an hour. I lose an hour. We all lose an hour of sleep, guys. Sleep's good. It's good for the heart and soul, in my opinion. I love to sleep. If I could hibernate, I seriously would. <laughs> Not really, but still. Um, it just makes me upset. Oh, by the way, we have stages throughout these, so you don't just keep on going and going. You have to go through stages. Um, but yeah, you know, I like sleeping. And to lose an hour of sleep, that's negative. But the positive part about having to move an hour forward is the fact that school days will be quicker. Um, the, day, the sun will be out longer. That's always good. It's nice to get a little rays during the summer. You get some sun rays. Um, I guess. I don't really know. The unfortunate part now, um, this is why I love winter. I don't have to mow. Um, those who, like, really know me know that I cannot stand mowing. I hate it so hard. It's so dumb. Well, it's not really dumb, because you kind of need to mow it, or your yard looks like a freaking Amazon jungle. Um, we have to get all the greats. We have to get great for everything, by the way, so get ten greats. Um, yeah, I have to mow or the yard looks like an Amazon jungle. But the yard's so inclined, and it's so difficult and tiring, especially if you are a lazy bum like me, which I plan on going to the gym during spring, or like, just run in general to stay fit. Oh, come on, we were one away. Look at that bogus action. We were right there. Oh well. Move on to the next one. 
How many of you mow, by the way? Do you have to religiously mow your lawn like every week? I have to mow it every week and it sucks. I hate mowing so much. It's okay at the beginning portions, but then when it becomes like the heat of the summer and there's no breeze or anything, it just kills me. Like, I sweat like a pig. Anyway, shoot down the hurling rocks with your rifle. That was probably really nasty, I'm sorry. Put the Wii Remote up or right to move the Wii Remote up, down, left, or right to move your sight. Press the A button to fire the rifle. You can always use the B button, too. Um, shoot the rocks to score. If a rock hits you, though, the game is over. And if you get two or more rocks in a row, you get bonuses. We get bono, which is bonus in Spanish. I know that. Yes, be jealous. Although, I just told you it, too. Anyways, the goal is 350, and every five combos you get, you get um, a little bonus here at the bottom right. I won't let me go all the way down there, though, because of the stupid thing low lobby. Like, this is part of my TV. How come I can't go down here right now? Is it because of the minigame specifics? I'm just going to let one of these things hit me. Because it won't let me go down here. Probably can't even go up there. I didn't check. Because I'm dead right now. Because <laughs> I'm flaming rock hit me, which something that I want to argue about is how they all land in the exact same spot. I wouldn't be standing there, honestly. I would be getting the heck out of that spot. I wouldn't want to be killed by a stupid flaming molten rock of lava. My bomber person is stupid. Oh well. Okay, so what's this one? Oh, get 5,000. It's the same exact game, guys. So... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think you have to actually get combos, too. Or something like that. I don't even know. Like, it's not really... It's not different at all from that one, so I'm just gonna not do that one. Just to save time. And the last one is Ninjas. I forgot to say which all of those were from. Volcanic Blast was from Ring Zone. Um, Bomber Samurai was from... Um, the Star Zone? I forgot the rest. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I'll probably look at them and try to memorize them, though. Defeat the ninjas one after another. Play with the remote sideways. Press the 2 button to attack with your sword. Change levels with the up or down on the control pad. If you attack a ninja from behind, you'll get a bonus score. Attack 5 from behind. Ooh. And a scroll will appear. <laughs> get the scroll, and your character will split into two. Run into a ninja or throwing star, and you'll lose one heart. If they're all gone, the game's over. Um, there's one specific mission on here where it's like, oh, um, get five freaking ninja scrolls. And, um, I, I always thought that, um, there's diamonds in this minigame, so I thought if you collect, like, five of those, you'd get it, but no. See, we already gathered five, and, um, we got the thing. When you're in double, you can't get the coins, and there's only three types of ninjas, by the way. Blue, which just runs straight on. The yellow, um, who alternates where, where they're at, and um, the red ones will come up sooner or later, and they'll throw like either ninja stars or the diamonds that I was talking about earlier. Which, we just got the goal, and we're just gonna stand in place, there's no, like, action going on. There's like a person standing there too, like, oh, it's over? When can I hit you with my sword? Anyways. Let's see, you were in Ring Zone, and you were in, I want to say Diamond, but I'm probably wrong, but yeah. I can't even remember Diamonds, I remember Water Skipping's in Diamond, I hate Water Skipping, I have to do that in the next video. Great. Seriously, Water Skipping sucks, I hate it. Let's finish this puppy off with some ninja action. Here's the one, get five scrolls with zero hearts left. I'm just gonna get one scroll and then commit suicide. Just to let you know how hard it is, it does get really tough later because there's like ninja stars and everything flying everywhere. So it's really annoying. I missed the scroll, are you kidding me? I'll just get another one then. And I promise you I won't miss it this time because I am a pro ninja. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is! Oh, I got it. Good. And they can come back behind you um, if you leave an open opportunity and get you while you are twice of you. So, yeah. 
I want to show you all the red ones though, so I'm actually going to keep playing this out. But if I do get hit though, then that's that. Uh, if you want to actually see the red one and you're just now tuning in, you can go in like a previous video or something. And it'll be there, I promise. Because I remember having to do this and it took forever to get like the A rank. So yeah. They gotta start showing up soon. Where are the freaking red ninjas? Oh, there's one! And we got hit. Because <laughs> I was too busy looking at the red ninja and the ninja star. Oh well. That one's actually really tough. It took me forever to do. I don't know why though, because, you know, if I focus hard enough, I can get it, but... Yeah. And I just remember that I can move with the control pad only. I don't need the Wii Remote Pointer. These change, by the way. Like, they have these specific things from uh, minigames. Uh, we haven't seen this one in the middle, though. We'll be doing that, though. That's the main reason why I'm doing these minigame uh, replays here at the Bomber Center. But yeah, there's the submarine tank from that stupid submarine game. And this is from um, the one where you have to do the bomb minecart and you have to not make sure it goes all the way or you explode. So that's that. Um, in the next video, we'll be doing page three. So thanks to you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.